The appellate court judge today ruling in favor of the special counsel on every single argument that was raised by Jesse Smollett's defense. Smollett has exhausted just about every legal measure to this point, but there's still one last chance of taking this to the Illinois Supreme Court, and that could kick this 150-day sentence even further down the road. Another loss in court for Jesse Smollett today. This time, judges rejecting his appeal of a conviction for faking a racist and homophobic attack in 2019. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb says he took on the pro bono case in hopes of restoring the public's faith in the Cook County justice system. I was very confident going to the Illinois Appellate Court. I did not think that Smollett's issues that they raised on appeal had any merit. ABC 7 legal analyst Gil Sofer says the ruling was a strong win for the special prosecutor, considering all the arguments that were raised by the defense. The, the defense, Jesse Smollett, threw the kitchen sink at this case, argued everything from uh, undue COVID restrictions to inappropriate comments made from the bench during the trial. Lots and lots of arguments, every one of them flatly rejected. The ruling means Smollett must finish his entire 150-day jail sentence for the crime. He served six days before being released last year. But Smollett's team may exhaust one more legal effort, asking the Illinois Supreme Court to hear this case. The Illinois Supreme Court process is really the end of the road for him, and it's not likely to give him much success. It's pretty hard to get a hearing before the uh, uh, Supreme Court, and even harder to win ultimately when you're there. Now, Sofer says it could take weeks for the Supreme Court to decide if they'll even take that case. And if they do, then it would keep Spillett from serving that jail sentence for several months. It's not clear yet if there will be another appeal. We made several efforts to reach out to Spillett's lawyers today, but we have not heard back. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.